At FIU, 94% of the graduates entering the workforce find work within six months of their graduation. What is the probability that among 15 graduates, exactly 12 of them find jobs within six months of graduation? So it's a probability question. We can see that here. And it says that among 15, exactly 12 of them find jobs. So there are more than uh, one graduate that's being looked at, right? It's, one, it's not one graduate being selected. It's 15 graduates being looked at or selected. So that would indicate that it's perhaps multiplication rule of probability. And then we're told that exactly 12 of them will find a job. So it's a subset of the group that's going to find a job. This indicates to me that it's most likely binomial probability. You can check the conditions to see if it's binomial probability. There are a fixed number of trials. There are two possible outcomes. Either they get a job or they don't. Um, there's a constant probability of success. 94% of the graduates ending the workforce find work. Um, the trials are independent. If one student finds work, it should be unconnected to whether another one finds work. In theory, assuming that they're randomly selected students, right? Okay, so overall we think that it's binomial, we can use that approach then. So we're going to say probability then that exactly 12 of them find jobs. So probability that the number of people who find jobs, x is equal to 12. So we're going to let x be the number of students who find jobs. All right, then from there what we want to do is to uh, fill out the binomial formula, if that's what we think it is. So the way the binomial formula works is we want to fill out this formula, right? We want to have n choose x, p to the x power, q to the n minus x. Okay, so our n here is 15. There are 15 graduates being looked at. We want to choose 12 of them to be the ones who find jobs. Then we're going to have the probability someone finds a job. That'll be 94%. There'll be 12 of those people, so we'll put the 12 on the 94%. If 94% find jobs, we need the complement of that, or in other words, 0 0.06, in other words, 6% that do not find jobs. Then we need the complement or the leftover amount from 15 that won't find jobs. If 12 get jobs, the remaining three do not, and that should be our solution for the problem. The rest of it is just calculator work, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, 15 choose 12 can be worked out pretty easily by hand, but we're going to just go ahead and do that in our calculator to speed it up. That ends up being 455. And then we multiply by the remaining two quantities. And so there'll be times 0.94 to the 12th power times 0 0.06 to the third. And when we're all said and done, we end up with 0 0.04677. So as a percent, that's 4.68%. Okay, so um, about a 5% or 4.5% chance that um, exactly 12 of the graduates will find jobs within six months of graduation.